Okay. Hey, Aftershock readers, I'm Mike Martz, Editor-in-Chief at Aftershock Comics. With me today is Zach Thompson. Zach has, of course, uh, written many titles for Aftershock, um, along with co-writing partner Lonnie Nadler. He's done Her Infernal Descent and Undone by Blood. And of course, Solo, he's done books like I Breathe the Body and Lonely Receiver. You can see a few of the uh, books back here. Um, Zach, today we're talking about your new title, which comes out July 13th, The Brother of All Men. Um, so first question, uh, what would you like readers to get out of this new title? Uh, I think I'd like people to think about how difficult it is to change someone's mind. Uh, I think that's the central message of the book. Uh, the book deals with a, a very real cult that existed here in the 1920s in Canada. And it's about a man who goes to find his estranged brother and try to change his mind to get him out of the cult. Uh, seems easy, not so easy. <laughs> and so it's sort of historical fiction and a little bit of crime element to it. Yeah, it's a blend of historical fiction, crime, and a little sprinkling of horror because it's me. I can't resist. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, second question why Aftershock? Uh, it's easy. Aftershock. Uh, really emboldens me to tell the most like daring types of stories that I possibly can, where there's no real limits on what we can put on the page and the types of stories that we can tell. Um, so we always get to do really like genre pushing stuff at Aftershock. It's the perfect home for a book like this. Thanks. We appreciate the kind words. Uh, <laughs> third question, if there was a comic book based on your life, what would the title be? Uh, <laughs> uh, easy going in the garden. That's what I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> that's good for the new homeowner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, number four, favorite town slash city. Uh, I'm a huge like film dude, so I I have to say L.A. Like anytime I've been visiting and being able to like go see old film restorations and like watching movies and cemeteries and stuff, that's extremely my vibe. <laughs> Excellent. It's one of my favorite cities too. Fifth question, if you had to be on a deserted island with one fictional character, who would it be? Oh uh, man, that is a hard question. I'm going to say, uh, because I watched Alien this morning, the Xenomorph from Alien. <laughs> I get to hang out with him. <laughs> might be a short stay on the island. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Number six, favorite movie um this is tough and it changes all the time but i think uh probably john carpenter's the thing uh, i think it's like quintessential perfect big budget effects from the 80s but then like really character driven stuff too it's like i could watch it over and over and over again great pick yeah uh seventh question if you were to cast any actor or actress for the lead role in your new title the brother of all men who would it be? Um, he's like a like a greasy sort of character actor, but his name is John Hodges. Uh, he like plays a lot of like bit roles and stuff, but I think he would like be the perfect uh, guy or Guy Horn uh, from The Brother of All Men. Um, as for like Bastion, I think of um, Justin Theroux all the time, um, just because I love The Leftovers and I love that like, big bear of a man who can have so much emotion and heart behind him. And then uh, for Brother 12, I feel like that's a perfect role for someone who doesn't have really an acting career at all. Some unknown old man would be perfect. <laughs> Great choices. Uh, eighth question, favorite late night snack? Um, I'm such a sucker for nachos with cheese. Even as a vegan, I'm, I'm still like making ghetto nachos with cheese where I literally put them in the microwave and then like eat them at 1030 at night with a bunch of hot sauce and then wake up at three o'clock with Harper. Right. <laughs> uh, related to that, the ninth question is in the ultimate food mascot showdown, who would be the two challengers and who wins? <laughs> um i don't eat a lot of fast food but let's just go with uh grimace from 
the big purple guy from McDonald's. Of course. And and Wendy from Wendy's and Grimace will win just because he's he's so big. He's got so much weight. He's got height on her, everything. <laughs> awesome. I can't wait to see the fight. Uh, and lastly, where can people find you on the internet? Uh, people can find me on Twitter at Zach B E Thompson and on Instagram with the exact same handle, Zach B E Thompson. Great. And then uh, just one last thing uh, for the Brother of All Men, your creative collaborators are who? Owen Marin is the artist on the book. Uh, Mark Engelard is the colorist. And Hassan Otsman Elhau, I think is how you say his name, is the letterer. I should know that by now because he's lettered like five of my books, but yeah, that's shameful. <laughs> that's great. All great creative people. Uh, and just to remind everyone, July 13th is the day where the Brother of All Men hits stores. So please on, be on the lookout for it. Thanks, Zach. Thank you.